Ask any rando on the street to name a weird fruit, and dollars to donuts, they will say banana. And that's just based on them being all yellow, bendy, and the favorite snack of all monkeys everywhere. But set aside its wacky appearance and the sheer danger of its peels in Mario Kart, and you might be amazed to find out that, when it comes to bananas, weird isn't skin deep. That's right, Britta. It's a banana. Why is there a banana in your DVD cabinet? Read the banana, Britta. You are a lying chunky. Potassium Power It's well known that bananas contain large amounts of potassium, good for all sorts of important bodily functions. What is less well known is that a small proportion of that potassium is the unstable radioactive isotope potassium-40. However, before you get any ideas about stuffing your face with bananas in pursuit of superpowers, be warned that it's next to impossible to get a significant dose of radiation from banana consumption. Using calculations based upon the so-called banana equivalent dose, you would need to find room in your stomach for 10 million bananas in a single sitting in order to give yourself a lethal or superpower-inducing dose of radiation. On the off chance that you do attempt that mission, you're probably going to experience some significant and probably fatal non-radiation-related side effects long before you peel the last one, including a banana peel slip to end all banana peel slips. B-A-N-A-N-A-S Isopentyl acetate is an organic compound that can be found in bananas, in synthetic banana flavors, and also in the pheromones of bees. Bees and other insects rely heavily on pheromones to communicate, not to mention to do some pretty radical dancing. And when threatened, one of the messages they send with pheromones is attack. Isopentyl acetate is just one ingredient of the attack pheromone, but it is a pungent one, which is why after a bee stings, you'll often detect a banana-like smell around the wound. The chemical is strongest in fresh bananas, but fades as the fruit ripens. So if you just have to eat a banana around a bunch of bees, best to go for a brown one, or else. Oh, no, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Seeing Red You might freak out at the idea of a red banana, but they do exist. Red bananas are part of the Musa Ecuminata species. Why don't we see all these fun bananas at the local grocery store? The answer is simple. According to the Washington Post, after decades of only seeing yellow bananas in our stores, many Americans aren't interested in non-yellow nanners. So how do red bananas taste? When they aren't ripe, they tend to taste very bitter with a starchy texture. If that's not what you're expecting, it can be an unpleasant shock. For a fruitier flavor, you'll want to make sure to grab a fully ripened red banana, which tends to be very sweet and creamy. Some actually compare the flavor to strawberry banana, while others note a hint of raspberry flavor. One in the same. Can you remember the first banana you ever ate? How about the most recent one? Well, you might be surprised to learn that, genetically, they were the same banana. That's because most of the bananas we eat in the West are known as Cavendish bananas, and they are all infertile, meaning you can't just plant a seed to get a new plant. Instead, you have to cut a piece from another plant and grow it separately. Those two plants and their fruit will be genetically identical. Clones are pretty cool, and they make for good science fiction, but in the case of bananas, there's a serious downside. Before the Cavendish became top banana, the Gros Michel was the banana boss. Unfortunately, a fungus came along and took a liking to the Gros Michel, wiping them all out. Eventually, the less creamy, less sweet, overall less satisfying Cavendish claimed its throne. And that's where we are now. Appealing Benefits could it be that we love bananas not only because they taste delicious, but also because they make us feel good? Always take a banana to a party, Rose. Bananas are good. We couldn't agree more, Doc. According to Live Science, bananas can elevate your mood and help beat the snot out of depression. It's all thanks to high levels of tryptophan, which the body converts to serotonin, the mood-elevating brain neurotransmitter. If that's not awesome enough, the magnesium in bananas can relax muscles, while the vitamin B6 in them helps you get a good night's sleep. That's probably also thanks to the tryptophan, as anyone who overdid it at Thanksgiving can testify. Bananas for Bananas If you're watching this, it's probably safe to assume you like bananas. The average American eats roughly 25 pounds of them a year, which, depending on the size of the bananas you buy, means you could be eating as many as 100 bananas per year, which would work out to around two every week. Still, America doesn't even come close to the nation that eats the most nanners. That honor goes to Uganda, where they eat around 420 pounds of bananas per year on average. Ugandans eat so many bananas that their word for food, mutoke, is also the name of a common banana-based dish. 
Uganda is the largest producer of bananas in sub-Saharan Africa, so it's not really a surprise that they would eat a lot of what they grow. But to eat that many? They must be really, really bananas for bananas. 